guys, what's going on? Dan here with Walnut Ridge. Um, exciting, exciting day today. As you can see, we're at the Keystone factory. We're actually gonna go back and we're gonna spend the day in the Cougar plant, looking how they actually manufacture Cougar fifth wheels. We're gonna go back. Okay guys, what's up? Dan here. Um, so we are actually in plant three right now which is the Cougar fifth wheel plant. As you'll see from the videos, there's just tons and tons of activity and moving about going on. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna talk to Matt and uh, get some more details on exactly like how many are being put out every day. Matt, how you doing buddy? Good, how are you? So I just sold the camera. We're here in plant three, correct? Plant two. Plant two, plant two. And this is the Cougar fifth wheel plant. That's correct. I see a ton of activity going on. I know we'll get like more into detail with the, exactly what's going on. But on this scale, like how many units are you guys putting out a day? Well, during the peak season, which is what we're in right now, our plant will finish complete building 22 units a day. Wow. Now there's a there's a huge misconception on when we talk about how many units we build a day that the customers will perceive sometimes that we build from start to finish 22 units a day. Right. That we're rushing through these things to get them done and that's not the case. It actually takes the process from the time the units, the sidewalls get ordered from our lamination facilities generally several weeks ahead of time. Okay. We build as much of the stuff that we can offline like our cabinets you'll see up here in our cabinet shop we're building cabinets getting in preparation for the unit starting to be run four or five days from now oh, so okay. when the unit hits the line which is that's the first station at the door where it comes in the raw frame comes in uh-huh the frame's going to get flipped the underbelly's going to get put on the axles and so on and so forth that's the first that's the first station that from station one to the door, there's 24 different stations. Wow. Okay. But reality is, as it, once it gets through floors and it starts coming down the line, we're assembling. As you'll see right there, those walls are pre-built. We built those walls offline, and now they're assembling the interior walls of the unit. Okay. So and by doing that, number one, it, it speeds up, it makes it more efficient, but it also condenses your work area because you're doing that outside of this building, correct? That, that's correct. Well, it's being, our cabinets are being done inside this building. Now we have several support plants. We have a, a, a plant that's over there that provides all of our interiors. So our balances, our lambrequin legs, those are all built ahead of time. Okay. We have a cabinet, our countertop shop that's here that builds most of our cabinets. Now some of the cabinets we do purchase from outside vendors like our solid surface countertops, we do buy that from an outside vendor. Right. But a lot of our, most of our cabinets are actually built in house. So all of the parts are in the different stations waiting to be assembled. When that unit hits that door and is coming down line, they're all ready to be able to put those pieces into those units, okay? And basically start assembling the unit, all right? It's really interesting to see when you start there, where you have a raw frame. Yep. And I can walk you through the plant, but by the time you get to the end of the line, you have a completed unit. And when we do plant tours with customers every week, we do them every Wednesday here, we have customers and they're, they're just blown away at how much we do in a day. And, and I always have to stress the fact that that's not a day's worth of preparation. It's weeks worth of preparation to have to have those parts already built ahead of right. time and, and be able to assemble them. Every one of our facilities is dedicated to that product line. This plant right here builds nothing but Cougar Pittsburgh. Take a look right now. They're getting ready to flip that frame. Now we install that 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 underbelly and our insulation in that underbelly from the top down, not from the bottom up. So we have this big machine that'll come over and flip this frame over so that we can put that underbelly on. That underbelly is part of our, our polar package um, that helps trap the heat inside where the where water lines are and where the holding tanks are um, to keep things from freezing up. It's also going to keep road debris, salt, whatnot from getting into your vital components that are inside that underbelly. See that, um, that uh, foil looking stuff they're installing? That's astro foil, bubble foil insulation. That's going in underneath the holding tank. That's going to help uh, reflect cold air from the from the ground from coming up into your tank. It's also going to help trap the heat that's being pumped into your furnace through a heat run that goes into your underbelly to try to trap hot air around your water line. As you can see, once you get into a rhythm, and like Al was talking about earlier, you get set on a specific job, you become so clean and efficient at it 
But what a cool process to put that underbelly on. And you know, Al talked earlier about how important that underbelly is, not only to prolong how long you can camp because you're keeping your pipes and stuff from getting too cold, but also you're keeping all that debris and stuff from flipping up underneath. It's a cool process to see. Right here outside the plant, you can see these are the frames that are getting ready to be brought inside to start building on. You'll notice on each one of those frames that they have model numbers on them. Yep. Cougar Half Ton 32 VHS. I like to show customers this portion of it because to me, I think it's really unique. Not every manufacturer engineers their own frames. Some of the manufacturers will, will draw a floor plan, send it to Lippert or frame manufacturer, and then they'll engineer that frame for them. We actually have our engineers engineer these frames specifically to our guidelines. We, we, we hold those guidelines for them. Now our frame manufacturer is right over there. So we send engineering prints to our frame manufacturer who then produces the frame, get them out here and get them so, ready. So hold on a second. So the frame manufacturer is, you said right over there, like 10 miles? Like a quarter mile that way. So if you have any kind, like you're doing your own designs, but if you have any problem, they're a stone's throw away to where you guys can go and like work that. They can go on the fly. That's they, gotta be amazing having them in the backyard like that. It is. Okay. Absolutely, they're, they're, they're a vital part of what we do. Obviously, every one of these are built onto a frame. So, and, and Lippert is, is probably 95% of all frames that are being built out there. So as a strategic partner with us, they're very close by. So we can make changes on the fly if we need to, or if something comes in and it's not correct quite correct they can correct that frame or get a new one out to us right away so you got a raw frame here and i was going to show you this inside the plant but since we're scanning here um, cougar and keystone have patented max turn technology okay well you'll see that in our brochures we talk about it all the time max turn technology enables the customers in a fifth wheel with the without having to buy a gimmicky type of a hitch to gain a higher turning radius in their fifth wheels before that that corner will blow out that rear window our frames are strategically designed. You can see this bend all in one piece, giving structural integrity to the front of that frame and allowing the cutaways for when that cap comes on and that pin box extends out, you're gonna be able to achieve a higher turning radius. This is very, very cool. So now we're, I mean, we're gonna see from start to finish, and this is obviously the first step. You can't yep. have a trailer without having a frame, right? right? Yep. And then we're going over this way. Yep. Okay guys, so we just came in from where the frames are brought in, the floor's put on, Matt has stopped me. I see a lot of wire behind me and I think it's something he's gonna wanna talk about. So Matt, tell me about this. So when customers walk in and out of shows, they walk in and out of units, they always look at you know, the wood, the sofas, you know, the floor plan. What they don't always see is the stuff behind the walls. About two years ago, our company invested millions of dollars to be the first RV company out there to adapt a uniform wiring schematic. So every Keystone trailer has color-coded and numbered wiring that's going to go to every electrical component in the unit. Now, why did we do this? Customers can't see it, we can talk about it, they don't really know the value of it. But the purpose of it was if a customer has a problem down the road, that the amount of time that it takes to diag that problem, the amount of time that it takes to figure out what is going on with it is dramatically reduced, okay? So that we can get that, that customer back on the road camping again, get their unit fixed and get them back on the road camping again. Put our floor in a full-size cougar. You'll notice, one, we call that big boy. That is Dynaspan flooring. That comes in 24 by 8 foot sheets. So there's no seams within that floor. That is anybody, a solid piece. That's a solid piece. So anybody who lives in a place that's humid knows if you've got wood flooring in your house and it gets humid, that wood will expand and you can get expansion and, and, and popping and creaking of that floor. Yep. In the summertime, when you run your heater, it takes all the moisture out of the air and that floor can contract. We use Dynaspan because there's no seam. That eliminates the chance for the expansion and the contraction based on the moisture content in the air. But you're starting to see a frame take shape right in front of you. So as you see, he's putting the linoleum on here. Now we've got a complete linoleum right here. We have our fiberglass insulation. We have our underbelly protection. We're starting to get some frames on, some walls built in the background. So we're upstairs. The bat saw me. He's got some gadgets in his hands. I think he wants to tell us about them. So let's hear what you got there, buddy. So last year we went on a mission with Cougar, not just with Cougar, but in Keystone, to try to figure out how to build the best uh, heating and cooling efficient units that's out there. One of the problems that, that 
every RV encounters over time is that uh, the amount of airflow that you're getting out of your air conditioner. This is what your duct work looks like right here. That's inside your roof. You see how light it is? And it almost just floats, okay? The way most manufacturers will do this duct work is they'll take two pieces of this duct work like this, butt them up together and tape them with this silver type tape, okay? Well, what happens is if insulation is laying on top of it, it can kind of crush that ductwork. Okay, a couple things can happen. It can crush that ductwork and, and help with, and reduce the amount of airflow that you're getting out of your ductwork. Also, sometimes these pieces of tape come apart. And when they does, you'll get a break into that ductwork and here an air will escape into your roof, okay? Making when it's hot outside like it is today, uh, difficult to cool your unit down. What Keystone did is they developed an AC coupler system, something we're very proud of. I basically took two pieces of ductwork to show how we do this, but we take this coupler, we join the pieces of ductwork together, then we take this tape and we tape around it, making it so that this ductwork right here cannot be crushed. If you, I don't know if you can get a picture on the inside of seeing how it keeps that ductwork open, okay? But it keeps that ductwork from getting crushed. And this has dramatically in, uh, uh, increased the airflow that we have in our AC system. Just this simple little piece that just took a little bit of ingenuity yep. and created this. And I can totally see how that makes a difference because if you just got a seam with tape all around it, it's going to be so flimsy. Right. But this gives it that nice structural integrity. So simple, yet so effective. That's so effective. I mean, it takes time, it takes the care, and that's what we're working to do all the time. Just trying to figure out how to, how to give that customer a better camping experience. It's unfortunate that not every customer can see the little things like the color-coded wiring or these AC couplers uh, to see what we put into the units um, to, to, to make it a better camping experience for them. So I, I'm pretty proud of how we've done this. I'm proud of the fact that last year that uh, uh, Cougar had went to a new racetrack AC system and what that does is it moves your, your main AC all the way to the rear of the trailer. You have a second AC that's in the front. When you have run two ACs into your unit, you're running into a big loop, okay? So you have two legs coming off your air conditioner, evenly distributing air all the way throughout. Your front AC is pushing air to the back, your back AC is pushing air to the front. And, and, and when you add this to it, you have the best cooling efficient unit that's out there. We run 15,000 standard BTU ACs, 13 fives in your bedroom, both of them are ducted. So I was just out here talking to Matt and I'm like, hey, do you camp a lot? Do you own a camper? And Matt was like, well, no, I don't have to. And then he started telling me why. And Matt, if you don't mind, I'm making you repeat yourself a lot today, <laughs> but it's such good information. Tell, tell them what you were telling me. Yeah, so we have a thing called Camp Keystone where we set up every year at a, at a local campground. We'll set up a half dozen or so uh, trailers that we've built for our employees to use. We open up signups in March. People, it's open to all their families and to, to be able to go out and use them. The only thing we require is that they provide the product manager with feedback on the unit. Um, things they liked, things they didn't like. It helps us in figuring out how we can build a better trailer. It also gets the people that you see building these units camping in them as well. So they come back to their stations to start building these things and they have their own experiences in a camper and they're like, man, I really didn't like how that bedroom was laid out. Maybe we can do it a little bit different. It's, it's a huge part of, of, of what we do and we work at shows all the time and we have customers who say, man, do the people who build these things actually camp in them? Yeah, we do. Every one of us does. As a matter of fact, in our sales department, all of our regional sales managers, product managers, and GMs are required once a year to go out and stay in one and we have a kind of a, um, a retreat in them where we we learn about them. We learn how to use them, we learn what we like, we learn what we don't like. So it's a big part of our culture here at Keystone and we're proud of the fact that all of our employees have the ability to use uh, all the products that we build at no charge. Coming down towards the end of the line, I think we're about two steps away from a unit being pushed all the way out the door. That's right. And Matt stopped me and I think we're leaning against some furniture right now and I wanted him to talk a little bit about that and then I'm hoping here in the next step or two, we're gonna talk in command, maybe? Yep, absolutely. All right, great, so Matt, go ahead. So we're here in Furniture Row, and every time I walk with a customer through the plant, they, they always feel like the furniture gets put in before the walls of the trailer get built. That's not true. We actually make sure that every floor plan is engineered so that the furniture can come in and out that door. You're actually gonna see him load the sofa. Most of our furniture will come apart into a couple pieces, and every piece of furniture gets loaded into the unit towards the end of the line 
um, which means that if it gets damaged or if you want to replace it or um, you need to get it out for any reason, it can also come out that door. And that's important for us too because not every customer is going to want to keep the furniture that we put in there. Um, and they may want to have the ability to be able to get it, take it out. So every piece of furniture goes both in and out of that entry door after the unit's already built. For See, this, these are the kind of things that I'm so glad you let us come here today for because these are the things that maybe we at the dealership level need to get better at sharing with people because I didn't even know that. And, and that is a huge seller because if you think about it, you get in these units and you're like, I love everything about it, but I hate the couch. Just get rid of the couch. Like if you're in love with that floor plan and to know that you don't have to have the slide taken out or whatever. Again, I've seen little things all day long as we went down through here that set you guys apart. And it's those little things all added up together that make this such an awesome brand. And I'm so glad we've got to highlight it. And I know we're not done yet. I'm not wrapping up the video. I'm just blowing on you guys a little bit right now because this is awesome. Yeah, we're, we're engineering these units to, to be livable or to be able to enjoy yourself camping, but also to be towable, to be able to take it anywhere you want to go, to be affordable. I mean, RVing is still the most affordable way to spend your time with your family. It's oh, still absolutely. a lot less expensive than traveling through the country. All of those things are what make camping great. And if we lose sight of that, and all of a sudden this fifth wheel becomes $150,000, or it's so heavy that nobody can tow it, um, then, it then it takes away from what what makes camping so great, what yep. makes RVing so great, and owning an RV so great. Couldn't agree more. Okay, so we're at a completed unit. We've just stepped outside of the factory. We're finally to one of the coolest parts for me because I'm an IT guy, a computer geek, and that's the in command, which I don't know anything about except that it's awesome. So I'm gonna let Matt, the expert, talk about it. I will say this, and hopefully he touches upon it, I can't imagine he won't. When you get in there and look, look at the color-coded wires. So when we started this whole conversation way back at the beginning, you're kind of seeing number one, all of it put together, but then the importance of these wires. So I'm not gonna steal your thunder. Yeah. Go for it, buddy. So like you said about the wiring, a couple years ago when we started switching over to color-coded wiring, we were also working on this system with one of our partners, ASA, called In Command. Um, the color-coded wiring provided the infrastructure for us to be able to bring this sort of technology uh, to the RVs. I'll tell you the reasons why that I chose to put in command in the Cougars, or why we as a division decided to put in command in the units. There's some cool features with it, like it allows you to, to, to utilize your, 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 uh, your telephone, your Android device, your iPhone device to be able to operate your slide rooms, to be able to turn on and off lights, to operate your awnings. Those are some really neat functions of that system, but to me it's not the most important function of the system. This system provides the infrastructure for additional redundancy in your system, okay? For those customers that, that don't care to use their phone, that's not a big benefit to you, right? If you don't care to have it on a remote, but you do have all of your stuff located in a central spot. But the redundancy I'm talking about is that every unit now has, within command, you have the ability to operate your slide rooms via your smartphone, uh, via your um, display commander that's inside on your panel. You can operate it right here on every, this is what we call the BCM that you're gonna see in the pass through of every unit. You see all those different modes? That's gonna be an override that allows you to operate um, if, the, if the panel inside went out or your phone wasn't working for whatever reason, it allows you to be able to operate your motor functions, being your side room and your awnings, right from that, that control panel. And then every slide out in a Cougar is also has a manual override in it. So you actually have four different ways to operate your awnings. Four different ways to operate your awnings, okay? So customers call me and they're, they're concerned about this technology, like, well, what if it goes bad? Will anything work? Our old KIB control monitor panel, like everybody else in the industry uses, uses a switch to operate it, or you can use it manually. So you, in those older type systems, you only have two ways to operate your slide rooms. In a Cougar, you have four different ways to operate your slide rooms. So it's that redundancy in that system that when customers go to look at an in, a unit within command, should give them the peace of mind that they have more ways to operate their systems. Um, you also have the ability with this new generation three in command with Global Connect to activate your unit remotely so if you're at a campground you're hooked to wi-fi or you got a hot spot in your unit you're hooked to wi-fi and you're out shopping or you're a seasonal camper where you leave your rv at a campground and you're, you're getting ready to head over there you can actually from your phone go in and turn on your air conditioner 
uh, you can turn on your lights. Um, there's a panic feature inside of it that allows you from your phone or from the display commander inside to hit a button to make every light blink on and off. So if you were in danger, if you had an intruder coming around, or if you just weren't feeling well and you needed some help, you can hit a button and make all your lights on the inside and outside flash as, a, as a panic alarm. There's all sorts of cool things. The other thing that it does is customers think, well, I don't want to operate my lights via the remote or the control panel. We have more redundancy there. We put um, what's called momentary switches for your bedroom and your living room. We're able to put those switches in better spots for the customer. Instead of walking in into a central location that's in the unit to operate all your lights, you have the ability to do it from that central location. You have the ability to do it from your phone anywhere around, in or around the unit. Or we also have those momentary light switches in places that are much better for the consumer than the old way that we built those, those units. And then from a thermostat standpoint, in command also controls your, 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 your AC system and your thermostat. Well, if you walk in any RV, your thermostat's usually in a central location right in front of the door. And in some cases it is with a Cougar as well, but we're able to position, they're called remote temperature probes, to put them in better locations to be able to serve that customer better, to be able to get a better uh, temperature reading in their living room or in their bedroom. So you have more functionality in the unit than any other phone. You have a, a, a panic alarm, you have the ability to operate your lights, um, your awning lights, your bedroom lights, your ceiling lights, either from your phone or from the display commander or from switches. You have redundancy in this system, so you have four different ways to operate your motor functions. And the, the last piece of this, which is I think is incredible technology that's out there, is that we partnered with ASA with this Global Connect that if your unit is hooked to an internet connection, if you're at your camp, at the campground, or even if you're at the side of your house and you're hooked to your Wi-Fi, um, and you had something that goes wrong, you can call ASA and they can remote into your unit to diag whatever problem it is. That is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, for 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 people that are cautious about technology. Mm -hmm. The technology really isn't the key on this. The technology that has based all of this around is CAN bus. They call it RVC. We have more and more vendors working. We work with Dometic, we work with RVP. We're working with more and more vendors to, to put this sort of uh, CAN bus technology, or RVC technology in it so it will work with this type of system, whether it be in command or I know that there's several other competitors are making similar type products. Right. Um, this product, this type of technology is here to stay, and it is for the benefit of the customer. It really is. It's oh, not absolutely. just a, a gadget that's out there for them to play with. It's, it's to make the camping experience better. And if you were to talk to the guys down on the line and ask them what they think about it, because they're, they're a great judge. Of, you know, They're the ones that are building it. They're the ones that are installing it. It's a simple install. It's virtually bulletproof. We have very few problems with it. Um, and we are, we're working with companies that stand behind it. Right. So it, it is it is something that's just absolutely fantastic for the customer. I'm excited to see where that this is going to go over the next couple of years and what it's going to give us the ability to do. Right. And it's awesome that Cougar's right on the forefront of it and that we have the infrastructure and the technology and that foundation to be able to take this to completely a different level. I love technology. I've always loved technology. But if I didn't, that sales pitch you gave me right there, I'm like, hey can't hurt and when you see all the other features and bells and whistles in a cougar that's just an added bonus i mean that's one more reason to buy a cougar so this is the display commander for the in command system this is going to be located in a central location in the unit you're going to have tank monitoring system up here um, these are going to be quick access buttons so turning on and off your water pump is as easy as touching right there your water heater if you want it on gas electric or both it's right there here's your panic function so I don't know if you can get a look at that, but when you hit that panic, all your lights inside the unit and outside the unit will flash on and off. Okay. To operate your slides and your awnings, you'll come in here. This is another nice feature of the system that you go into most units and there's buttons that say slide one, two, three, and four, but you have no idea what it operates until you push the button. Now they're all properly, lab properly labeled. You have bed slide, kitchen slide, sofa slide on off door side, sofa slide on, on driver's side and awning. So all you'd have to do is hit those buttons to operate it. Go back to the home screen, light groupings. So you have ceiling, which is gonna be in your main living room area, your bedroom and your awning light. So they can all be functioned right from here. Okay. HVAC. And this is one of the cool things for, for this system is, so now you have two different zones. You have zone one and zone two. You're looking at one of those remote temperature probes that's located here. There's another one in your bedroom. Gives you the ability to 
but you'll see front AC. So right now I'm going to operate the front AC that's in the bedroom. You can set it for heat, cool. You can set it for both. You can also set timers set up to, to turn on and off automatically. You're not going to get that sort of functionality in a typical dom Dometic thermostat that gets shipped from the factory. So you can actually change the schedules of these things. Um, you can go in here, same thing with the rear AC. Um, you can actually set your fan to just run without AC on it. You can time that up because it is filtering the air when you do that. And all of this functionality that you see right here uh, is also, uh, you can use it from your smartphone. So or an Android or an iPhone device, okay? Um, so, so everything that you see here can be done either while inside the unit or outside the unit. It can be done from another part of the country as long as your unit's being hooked to uh, the internet. And we've also designed, had this designed with a lockout feature. So none of this stuff will work once the unit's in motion. So once you plug in the seven-way plug in the back of your truck, your brake lights are activated, it locks out all of your motor functions. So somebody couldn't accidentally grab your phone and run your slide out as you're going down right, the road. Right, right, so, that makes total sense. So there was a lot of thought put into this system to be um, uh, useful to the customer for safety features. Um, just, a, just a really fantastic system. Okay guys, so we've come to the end of the day. Hopefully I made an awesome video just to kind of highlight and reflect how cool this experience was. I'm hot, I'm hard of hearing, but I loved it. I just wanted to spend all day in there. Matt, thank you so much and thank you to Keystone both. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, felt the VIP treatment and it's really cool to actually, I think everyone should come and experience this as much as they can because if I was out there selling, me putting someone like myself in one of these Cougars, that's a, that's a no-brainer right there for me. And I, seriously, thank you so much. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thank you for coming out. If any of you want to come take a live tour with me or one of our regional sales managers, we do plant tours at Keystone RV uh, every Wednesday. Just call ahead and let them know that you're coming. And at 1 o'clock, we'll, we'll run you through and do a plant tour with you as well. Thank you very much.